All right, gamers, let's talk about the nerfs. So, they're nerfing Skull Ring to four play points and removing the Necromancy Clause on the last words, Reanimate. And they're upping the cost of Hippogriff Rider from five to six. Not bad nerfs in and of themselves, but I will say that I'm pretty disappointed in them uh, given the context of what they're, uh, they're nerfing for. So, let's talk about what they wrote here. The current game environment. Rotation. According to the data we gathered in mid-November, from high-ranking rotation matches, Arcus Shadowcraft mid-range decks that include Arcus Ghosty Manager has the highest win rate at 59.1% and the highest usage rate at 16.2%. Holy smokes, man! Okay, this is a family-friendly channel, no swearing, please, but that is... that is something else. 59.1% is not okay. All right, well, moving on, let's talk about Unlimited here. According to the data we gathered in mid-November from high-ranking Unlimited matches, mid-range Shadowcraft featuring Demon Lord Ektar has the highest win rate at 58.5% and the highest usage rate at 14.5%, followed by Aggro Dragoncraft, blah, 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 57.2% usage rate of 10%. These two decks are particularly good. Also, across our all archetypes, players going first had a win rate of 52.2% in rotation, up from 51.8% in October, and a win rate of 53.3% in Unlimited, down from 53.7% in early October. They want to drive the win rates of going first down, so they nerfed Skull Ring and Hippogriff Rider. So that's what makes the most sense to me, is the whole first versus second thing, because these are certainly cards that are better first than second, because uh, Skull Ring on three is... Well, Skull Ring has been... <laughs> over stat for a long time, so the nerf now feels kind of out of date, uh, especially considering this stat in rotation. Uh, but it's still a, a worthy nerf, like, I, I totally understand why they did it. And Hippogriff Rider as well, I totally get it, because if you just play this on 5, you curve out into Aina or Forte on 6, and you just win the game. Which is, uh, no bueno, like, you don't want that to happen every single time, which it often is wont to do, right? Um, but the reason why I'm not super happy about the nerfs overall, is that the Skull Ring nerf seems like such a, a light slap on the wrist for Arca Shadowcraft in rotation. And it's not like I'm brave or anything for saying this. This is like the pretty much the common consensus right now. But it is still nevertheless baffling that at 59.1%, 59.1% win rate, when they had so many other targets like Lady Grey or Cerberus, Hal Arcus himself, they choose to nerf Skull Ring, which in a lot of lists is already a, only a two of uh, in that deck. So nerfing a two of Brawn instead of the, the huge problem cards that make that deck so good at everything it does. You know, it's, it's an aggro deck, a tempo deck, it's a combo deck. It can do pretty much anything, um, which is really frustrating, of course. So I would have liked to see a lot more changes than this, especially when... Like, you think about all the punishment that Puppet Portalcraft took in the last round of nerfs, right? And this time around, with a win rate that's this insane, like, this is ridiculous, uh, that they nerfed just one card out of it, it's uh, kind of disappointing. Although, to keep in mind the context of the mini expansion that's coming up, I will have to say that the Shadowcraft cards coming up in the mini expansion aren't that impressive. So maybe they're thinking, oh, the mini expansion is going to help tilt things in the other classes' favor while not giving Shadowcraft too many good tools. But, uh, I don't know. It still, it still doesn't really feel like quite enough. I guess you won't know until the mini expansion actually drops tomorrow, but yeah, uh, I'm not sold whatsoever. Now, regarding the Hippogriff Rider nerf, I guess my in-depth thoughts on it are just that. Um, it's pretty well deserved. It's gonna be rough for Aggro Dragon now. There are six drop slot. I don't think it can accommodate either Hippogriff Rider or Aina anymore. Probably still run Forte, but you cut one of the other ones. Yeah, it's kind of a tough curve to fill out now and get everything out there and hit them in the face. So it's a pretty punishing nerf for Aggro Dragoncraft uh, in Unlimited, that's for sure. Yeah, it just <laughs> It is pretty entertaining to me that in Unlimited, it feels like Aggro Dragoncraft with less impressive stats is getting punished more. But, you know, maybe I'm biased as a Dragon main, but... Yeah, the Skull Ring nerf doesn't seem like it's uh, nearly enough. I'm a bit salty, also, that the Skull Ring 
has been nerfed, like, after I already vialed, like, my hundred copies of Skullrig. Because <laughs> I thought it was never getting nerfed. This is a, a lesson to you kids, never vial anything that you think is remotely powerful. Unless you, unless you really, really need to, because... Oh, the regretty. Could have had, like, 2,000 more vials than I do now. Okay. Well, that's it for the nerfs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I also want to talk about the upcoming patch tomorrow. They're also adding Yuan chapters. Uh, new Guild War Yuan story mode, so that's fun. Hopefully I'll be able to actually get a video out of, about the story mode in time. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty swamped right now IRL, so I'm just letting you know if I end up missing days. I'll try not to, but if I end up missing days of uploading this week or early next week, then uh, you'll know why, because I'm, I'm busy, very busy. But yeah, hopefully I can make a video on this sooner rather than later. Usually I make a video on the, sh on the story modes like way after everyone has stopped caring about it. But you know, I'll try and be a little more punctual this time around. Although no promises because the mini expansion is coming out tomorrow and it's a lot, a lot of excitement for that. So I'm probably going to be doing some deck techs on that first rather than story mode. It's what I'm usually focused on when a new release comes out. And I'm also probably going to be pushing CCW to sometime in Maybe not Monday, but maybe Tuesday or something like that, because I do want to get out the, uh, the deck techs first. At least one deck tech first before we do CCW, because I feel like most people just care about the new decks with mini expansion cards. And uh, frankly, so do I. So keep an eye out for that tomorrow. All right, that's it for this video. Like it if you did. Don't even didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. Patreon.com slash Ignidius. If you'd like to support the channel as well, I'd highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.